Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Today we are going to look into the concept of rent seeking. Let's have a look into this. The idea of rent seeking involves an economic entity seeking to gain added wealth without the reciprocal contribution of productivity. So this person or the entity, this person can be either a company or else a person. Okay, even though I'm saying a person for the sake of convenience, it can be a company also, whatever be the entity. So what here makes is that there exists an aim to obtain some financial gains. And how this person or the entity makes an aim to obtain some financial gains is that there exists some manipulation as far as distribution of economic resources is concerned. And we might be having some efficient level, but from efficient level, there are some manipulations happening. Again, why manipulations is happening? Manipulations is there for self-interest. Every person is interested in obtaining his or her own motive. And the very same idea works here as well. So this implies a kind of extraction of something called uncompensated value. And this makes no contribution to productivity. So you are getting some value, you are getting some benefit, but you are not making contributions to the productivity. And this theory of rent seeking can be distinguished from various other theories like what we have in the name of profit seeking. Profit seeking is something else and it's different from rent seeking because in the case of profit seeking, we will be having entities who would try to extract the value by engaging in mutually beneficial transaction. But this is not with the same with rent seeking. Rent seeking is entirely different where you are going for uncompensated value without making contribution to productivity. So for the very same reason, rent seeking is very, very important as far as both economy and society is concerned. Because we would be moving away from efficiency. Efficiency is reduced as a result of rent seeking. And I told you about the manipulation that the concerned party will be making here. And even though there exists something called self-interest or mot some action or behavior motivated by self-interest, this will lead to inefficiency or inefficient allocation of resources. And for the very same reason, it will definitely have some bad consequences. For example, we can say that there exists a rise in inequality. Inequality is anyway bad and this might also lead to something called increase in poverty for some sections. And that too is problems only. And the government might be facing some issue with respect to loss of revenues and also in the market there can be a fall in competition. And this might also lead to lessening of consumer welfare. We can have a lot of examples from real life regarding rent seeking. Examples would include individuals, groups, organizations, companies, government, etc. Lobbying the government. So when I say government lobbying the government, uh, it might be something like the state government lobbying the central government for taxing, spending, as well as policy matters. So what would happen here is that the lobbying party will be getting some benefit, but they are not making any compensation here. This would be happening at the expense of common people or taxpayers or consumers or some other groups might be there with which beneficiaries might be in economic competition. And this would be the whole idea of rent seeking. So that's it. I hope you could understand and come to know about the meaning of rent seeking from this video. I request you to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. You can like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. 
also you can join our free telegram community you can also download the learn economy app i'll be providing the links of everything in the description box that's it thank you for watching